Hey folks, welcome back to Ndaba Acre. This is Chris once more with coverage of the Bikers Against Farm Murders and Racism 2020 bike rally in South Africa, across South Africa, multiple locations, Cape Town, Nelson Mandela Bay, up in Limpopo, also down in Durban, and of course the major event taking place in Pretoria. Had live stream coverage of this for about three hours earlier as the event took place from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in South Africa today, the 29th of August, 2020. What I have for you now is a little footage from Erica, who did some coverage for me from Durban, uh, covering the events taking place down there. This strikes home for her. She's a dairy farmer from KwaZulu-Natal. Well, that's where she was a dairy farmer. She grew up elsewhere. But a dairy farmer in KwaZulu-Natal, KZN, uh, whose farm suffered an attack. Fortunately, she was away from the farm, but her son and partner were there and barely survived with their lives. Fortunately, they did survive. So this hits very close to home for her. She covered this for us from Durban, as well as coverage from others around the country. But I want to show you this portion very quickly so that you can take a look at that about today's events in South Africa. Hi Chris, uh, hi everybody. I'm having problems. I've recorded this video several times already, but it's not recognized in the format. So I hope this is going to work. <laughs> and um, I'm here at Lords and Legends, and everybody's come here to relax, as you can see behind me. And I'm walking on the rugby field, beautiful day. And uh, wow, this ride into town was quite something, quite the adventure, <laughs> we thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, we, left, um, we left Toti at 9.30 this morning and um, drove into town. We stopped the traffic. Some people got quite rude with us, but most people were very polite. A lot of people waved us and we were really taking part. And uh, we went all the way through to the Magistrate Court where we put uh, um, flowers on the fence, crosses. That was very emotional for me because, wow. You know, seeing the names of the farmers, the victims, farmers, wives, children on those crosses. When you actually see them, the reality hits. And it hit me, I started crying um, because I knew it could have very easily been me. But you know, also, I just thank God I was still alive, still had the chance to, to live, you know, where other people weren't given that choice anymore. And uh, I'm going to live my life to the fullest. And I'd love to, I was thinking on the, on the way back that when I get to my grave, I'd like to say, wow, that was quite a ride. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the support was amazing and it was very touching. Um, it was almost like a pilgrimage for me. And honestly, these bikers were so good, you know, it's... Uh, I haven't ridden pillion for a long time, loved it, and I was never allowed on a bike when I was a kid. <laughs> now I'm making up for it. Uh, sorry mom, <laughs> I think she was looking after me, um, because she died five weeks after our farm attack, and uh, um, but uh, I just want to thank all the bikers, you know, and everybody bringing this to the world's attention because the world needs to know what is happening. It's not just to the farmers, but it's each other and the families. It's also the land, whole country. You know, if you kill off the farmers, who the hell is going to feed you? People aren't thinking. They're not looking. They think it's not going to happen to us. I don't know if they think food is going to fall out of heaven like manna. This is not going to happen. We are not the Israelites. And uh, people have to wake up. So, yeah, I hope this goes through. So I'm going to try and send it now. Okay, fingers crossed. I'll chat again. Sorry about the wobbly.
Bye. Well, there you have it, folks. That's from Erica, who is on the ground for us in Durban, South Africa today, the 29th of August, 2020, covering the bikers rally and sharing videos with us during my live stream earlier. This is afterwards. We had some difficulty getting the connection through on Zoom. So I asked her to record this video, and that's why we're bringing it to you now. So you can hear a personal view of someone deeply affected by these events, these farm murders that take place, the rural insecurity in South Africa, which affects all South Africans, ladies and gentlemen, black, white, colored, Indian. It affects everyone. The tone deaf ruling government is paying no attention to what's happening there and dismissing it. In fact, the president of South Africa himself, one Cyril Ramaphosa, speaking to Bloomberg News in 2018, early 2018, told them that uh, what happened with Donald Trump talking and tweeting about farm murders in South Africa, that Donald Trump was misinformed. He's been poorly informed. There are no farm murders in South Africa. No whites are being killed on farms in South Africa. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, both of those points are demonstrably true. It's a ludicrous statement to make anyway. Every country around the world, people are killed occasionally in rural insecurity, particularly on farms where people are isolated and vulnerable. For a president of a country to deny it just shows you that there's something else at work here. Nonetheless, that's a personal view and it, from an experience uh, today in Durban, South Africa, from Erica. Thank you, Erica, so much for that coverage. We appreciate it. Folks, if you're not a subscriber to Chris Wine Africa, hey, take a moment and become a subscriber. All you have to do is push that button right down there. It says subscribe. And be sure to toggle the bell icon right next to it. That way you should get updated for videos when they appear on the channel and live streams I do. Make sure to check periodically. We've discovered that YouTube has been unsubscribing subscribers. I have a person who's a moderator on my channel and twice in the same day, YouTube unsubscribed him from my channel. What's that all about? What's that all about? Well, folks, if you have any comments, feel free to leave your comments as long as they're not abusive. Um, so just get ignored, mocked, or deleted. But if you have something constructive to contribute or questions, please put that in the comments. And finally, smash the like button. Likes drive viewership. And the more likes we get as a percentage of views of this video, the more likely it is to see impressions and people get a chance to learn about this video. Thank you so much for your patronage. Have a pleasant and wonderful day.